going on, everybody? So today we are bringing you a watch which I feel represents an insane value for money. This is probably the best field watch you can purchase in 2023. The specs and features you get with this watch for the price that they are charging is insane. So I, I'm filming this, it's mid-June 2023. So if you're watching this later, prices might change. You might not even have this anymore. But if you were looking for a field watch that just hits it out of the park with value and features, go check this one out. Obviously, this was purchased off AliExpress. Bodery is one of the Chinese brands that you can get off AliExpress, and that's where this one is purchased. This is the Bodery Voyager A11T. The T stands for titanium. That's right, this is a titanium field watch. So let's jump into the specs and features and maybe I can explain why I feel this is the best field watch for the money in 2023. So this case, this watch boasts a case diameter of 40 millimeters. It has a case thickness, 11.79 millimeters to the, the, there's a recessed sapphire crystal there. So as you can see, it does not, the crystal does not protrude above the case. However, the thickness with the single pass NATO is 13.89 millimeters. Okay, lug to lug is 48.37 millimeters and it has a lug width of 22 millimeters. It is powered by the Miyota 8205 automatic movement. The crystal is sapphire, as stated before. It has a sapphire crystal recessed below the titanium case. It offers 100 meters of water resistance. It has a four o'clock signed screw down crown to coincide with the four o'clock date complication on this one. The entire case is made from solid titanium. What grade is it? I don't know, I couldn't find. Is it two, is it five? Is it probably the lower end one for what they're charging for this watch? But it is solid titanium, which makes it extremely light. And the website, I don't have a scale right now, but the website I think claims it's around 79 grams or some ridiculously light uh, weight. Uh, it does come with this fantastic single pass, two millimeter thick, NATO strap. And look, they even reinforced, they did some reinforced stitching down here. This, guys, this is a great strap. I doubt these little rings are titanium, probably steel, but it is signed. And I know it said, oh, it looks like it's signed upside down. But when you are wearing it on your wrist and you look, boom, you can read it right there. That's fantastic. This is a very high quality strap. By comparison, I'm going to show you another NATO that I have right here. And this is no slam on anything. I think this is a straps code, not sure, but it's it's thinner. This this is a great strap. I dig this. And I'll probably throw this orange one on there, which is super cool. That'll make that sucker really pop. But look at the difference in thickness of the two. Sorry, I went off camera there a little bit. Look at the, the difference in thickness. It's insane. And and that's that strap code strap is really good strap. But you know, this is crazy for what you pay for this. And I know you're probably asking, what, what, what do you pay for? Because this was $89. Gents, I was blown away. $89 for a solid titanium field watch with a super high quality and thick NATO strap. That's crazy, crazy value. An automatic. This is not a quartz. This is an automatic with 100, 100 meters of water resistance. It's crazy. Look at look at how thick those spring bars are. That's just nuts. So let's take a look at the case back. The case back's got a design on it. We can get this strap off. And there it is. It says, it's got like a ship's wheel on it. And it says, what the heck does it say on the top there? BDA, I don't know, some kind of code. Solid titanium, Bodery Voyager, 100 meters, water resistant, uh, BDA 011. That's probably a product code on there. Um, this, this watch, I am supremely impressed with this watch. I know usually like watch enthusiasts feel 
Hamilton's the king of field watches. And yeah, they make some great field watches. But for the price, you're going to... $89, guys? Come on. This is just... This is ridiculous. You get the sapphire crystal. You get solid titanium uh, case. It, it, the real thick, solid, single-pass NATO. S real thick, strong spring bars. It's, it's insane. It's also good-looking, too. This white dial... If we look at the dial, it's actually, now in the pictures, the way they shoot the pictures and some are renders and stuff like that, it looks like a bright, stark white dial. It even kind of looks like that under the light here. It actually has, it is white, but it actually kind of has a silver tint to it. So it's not like bright white, blow, you know, blow your doors off bright white. Uh, but as you can see, let's just take a quick look at the dial. It says Bowdery at the 12 o'clock. It has the, the 1 to 12 around and the 24 hour inside. It says Voyager automatic with the pop of red. I'm digging that at the six little. It's got that vintage faux, faux vintage orange colored loom at the at the 12. There's a little triangle there, which is also very cool. Um, four o'clock date, as mentioned before. And I dig the segmented chapter ring right there. Um, it's it's segmented in five minute and, you know, they get the 5, 10, 15, 20 little boxes cut into it. That's very cool. I'm digging that a lot. Uh, one thing I do want to show you real quick is the box it came in because I kind of thought this was pretty awesome. So when I opened the cardboard box, and then it came in this little shipping container that says Bowdery Watch Company. Little plastic shipping container. Open it up and it has, it's, it's very basic. You know, it's got the little watch pillow it sits on. It's got your little warranty card and your instruction manual, a little foamy thing on there. But I thought that was kind of cool. Little plastic shipping container comes in. I just thought that was awesome. So let's, uh, you know what? Let's get a loom shot and see what that looks like. All right, guys. So there you have it. Pretty basic loom. Um, you know, Loom pip at the 12 o'clock. Uh, little tiny pips all around the edge. I dig the lollipop loom at the end. I dig. I also dig how they kind of loomed the back end of the second hand. That's pretty cool. And the hands, it's your standard, I think it's Super Luminova, the green. So that's pretty cool. So let's flip this camera around and go get some final thoughts. All right, guys. So there it is, the Bowdery Voyager A11T. Guys, what do you think? Are you familiar with the, the uh, Chinese brand Bowdery? Listen, I just gotta say, they did not send me this watch. I purchased this watch with my own money and at $89, I do not regret it at all. This is a fantastic watch for double this price, triple this price. This is probably, should probably be an over $200 watch. This is fantastic. Maybe throwing a better movement at that price. But this is fantastic. And for $89, man, you cannot, you cannot lose. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.